Once beloved members of the royal family, it seems the fairy tale is officially over for Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. No longer the darlings of the monarchy, they now face exclusion following a surprising decision by King Charles. What led to this dramatic shift? How did things go wrong? And why is this decision particularly painful for Harry and Meghan? Prince Harry and Meghan Markle stepped back from their royal roles in 2020, a move dubbed Megxit that marked a significant turning point. Relocating to North America, they embarked on new projects, including a tell-all interview with Oprah Winfrey. However, their departure created rifts within the royal family, particularly with King Charles. The media scrutiny and allegations of racism stemming from their actions further strained relationships, leaving them with little recourse. Since leaving royal life, Harry and Meghan have found themselves embroiled in controversies. Their Netflix documentaries and Harry's memoir, Spare, have posed challenges to the monarchy, but their latest comments and projects have particularly upset King Charles. While they have garnered some fans, they have also widened the gap with the royal family, leading to King Charles' latest decision, which underscores that there may be no turning back. The royal family is typically tight-lipped about internal matters, but Harry and Meghan's actions have forced their hand. King Charles' decision is both personal and symbolic, indicating a significant shift within the family. So, what exactly did he do? King Charles has officially cut Harry and Meghan off from the royal family, stripping them of their titles, privileges, and roles. They now stand outside the institution they once belonged to. King Charles' decision is far from arbitrary. With his coronation behind him, he seeks to start anew. By severing ties with Harry and Meghan, he aims to solidify the monarchy's future, even at the cost of leaving some family members behind. This move was both practical and emotional, with public opinion divided and Harry and Meghan under constant scrutiny, action was necessary. The monarchy requires stability, and Harry and Meghan have increasingly been viewed as a liability. So, what lies ahead for Harry and Meghan? They have distanced themselves from royal life and are currently residing in the U.S. However, can they maintain their influence and media presence without the royal title? This raises intriguing questions. The couple has invested significantly in their public image, securing deals with platforms like Netflix and book contracts. Yet, can they sustain their celebrity status without the royal affiliation? Will the public continue to care about their story? Perhaps Harry and Meghan sought a quieter life away from royal scrutiny, but after years of media exposure and public interviews, can they truly escape the spotlight? Their situation resonates with many, family conflicts are universal and their story illustrates how to navigate personal boundaries amidst public scrutiny. Despite King Charles' decision, Harry and Meghan may still have options. The royal family has historically demonstrated a capacity for forgiveness and reconciliation. Is there a possibility for the Sussexes to have their own epiphany, reconciling with the family or charting a new course? They may need to redefine themselves outside of their royal titles. The Sussex saga provides valuable lessons for managing family disagreements. 1. Set clear boundaries. Understanding what is acceptable and what is not within family relationships is essential. 2. Communicate openly. The importance of clear communication cannot be overstated. Strive to resolve conflicts privately and respectfully. 3. Know when to walk away. Sometimes, Stepping away from a toxic family dynamic is the healthiest choice. Prioritizing your well-being is crucial. King Charles' decision may seem like the end for Harry and Meghan, but the reality is more nuanced. They have consistently demonstrated resilience in the face of challenges and the ability to redefine themselves in the public eye. So, is it really over for them? Not by a long shot. However, this chapter signifies a turning point as they seek to carve out a future separate from the royal family. While the headlines may appear dire, Harry and Meghan have encountered crossroads before, showcasing their adaptability. The crucial question now is, where do they go from here, and what can we expect? Leveraging their platform, despite losing formal ties to the royal family, Harry and Meghan continue to attract significant attention. Their narrative of breaking free from tradition and advocating for social justice resonates with many. However, they must navigate their influence without the royal backdrop, focusing on issues they genuinely care about. Public sentiment, public opinion can be fickle. 
At times, Harry and Meghan have been celebrated for their bravery, while at other times they have faced accusations of hypocrisy. Maintaining a public profile without overexposure will be key to retaining relevance and respect. What about Harry's legacy? Harry's complex relationship with his legacy weighs heavily on him. As the son of Princess Diana, he has often discussed the burden of public life. Now, with his royal identity effectively stripped away, he faces the challenge of building a legacy separate from his family's name. His deep commitment to philanthropy and social justice will be pivotal in shaping how he is remembered. Meghan's role, from Duchess to global influencer, Meghan Markle's journey has been equally complex. From actress to British royal to global philanthropist, she must now navigate her identity as an influencer without royal trappings. Can she maintain her relevance and impact as an independent woman in a rapidly changing world? One of the most poignant aspects of this saga is Harry's fractured relationship with his family, particularly with King Charles and Prince William. Once close siblings, they now find themselves divided by a chasm filled with both public and private grievances. With King Charles' recent decision, hopes for reconciliation appear to be waning. However, there remains a possibility for healing. Historical precedent shows that royal rifts can mend over time, but the public nature of this conflict complicates the path to peace. 